Now, well, I'm holding a specimen of the liver in its in situ position. In situ means how it appears in the actual body. This liver is located right here in the right hypochondria. What you see in front of you is the anterior surface. The roof on top is also known as the diaphragmatic surface because it's right underneath our diaphragm, the primary muscle of respiration. To the side, because this surface contacts the ribs, this is your costal surface. Now we want to turn it around. This is entirely your back posterior surface. And you can see all these different impressions here on the lower side. This is your visceral surface because it's in contact with all the different visceras, like the colon and the kidney. Anatomically, the liver is divided into two lobe, uh, four lobes. In front of you, you can only see two of them, the larger right one and the comparatively smaller left one. In the center, you can see this falciform ligament attached. This is part of the peritoneum. Keep in mind that the whole liver is covered with peritoneum, a shiny membrane which lines the abdominal cavity, except for one small area on the, behind the right lobe. This is the bare area where there is no peritoneum. And you can see if I were to pull on the edges of the peritoneum on the margin, you can see how this peritoneum is peeling off very nicely. The peritoneum covers the entire liver, forms the coronary ligaments on the right and the left side. And as they attach to the diaphragm on top, they form the triangular ligaments, which is not readily appreciable here. Aside from the falciform ligament, there is a very thick cord passing right at its inferior margin. This thick cord, it's more easier to appreciate if you were to feel it, is known as the ligamentum teres, the round ligament of the liver. This was originally the umbilical vein in the fetal life, but then becomes fibrosed and becomes a thick cord. There's nothing much else to see in the front side, so I'm now turning the liver to its back surface. Here we can finally see all four lobes of the liver. Once again, the right lobe, the left lobe. This one right over here is the caudate lobe. And you can see it is adjacent to this blue venous structure. You can see this giant opening here. This is the inferior vena cava. All the food we eat is absorbed into the portal circulation. It enters into the liver and through the hepatic veins finally enters the inferior vena cava where it enters the heart. Let's put a blue pin here so that you can easily remember. This is the inferior vena cava. And if you were to see up close inside, you can even see certain branches of the hepatic veins entering into the inferior vena cava. Now, aside, this is the 